what Red Light Tangle looks like on. It's a really pretty berry kind of wine red color. And then it has that burgundy glitter in it. So it's really sexy and I just thought it went really well with um, a Moulin Rouge inspired kind of collection. So um, that is my first lipstick I ever made and I really like the formula. I think it turned out really nice. So I have another lip product that is coming up in a different collection. It's going to be a collection called Funny Lip Shape and it's based on the singer-songwriter Tori Amos. If you don't know much about her, she became pretty prominent in the early 90s with her first album Little Earthquakes and um, she's, she has a really strong following and all of her fans are called Ears With Feet. So. Um, I'm in Ears With Feet. I have been a huge fan of her since probably, I want to say Scarlet's Walk, so probably when I was like in 8th grade I started listening to her. I just really am inspired by her um, in all ways. She's just a very cool, quirky um, role model for me. So I wanted to make a makeup collection inspired by her and I kind of thought, well what would be perfect for Tori Amos? And she was all about lip products, and she actually worked with makeup artist Kevin Aquan. Um, he was like her one of her really good friends. Um, he passed away um, a while back, but they were really good friends, and he did her makeup looks a lot, and he focused on her lips, and he loved red lipsticks on her and things like that. So um, the line is going to be all lip products. I'm going to be doing lip glosses and lip jumbo lip pencils, kind of like what I did for the Red Light Tango. And this color, you can use these either as cream eyeshadows or lipsticks. Um, this pencil I'm using as a cream eyeshadow base, but you know, you can pick and choose what you want to use it for. Some people don't really like lipstick, um, they could use this as a cream eyeshadow. Some people love lipstick, they can use it as a lipstick. So it'll work well either way. Um, it's just a really nice vegan alternative. So the formula has castor oil in it, hydrogenated jojoba oil, which is called jojoba wax esters, um, that's to replace beeswax, um, candelilla wax, it has cocoa butter in it, um, as well as mica iron oxide, and I think that's about it. It's a, it's a pretty simple formula, but it's really nice and creamy and um, lasts for a long time on the lips, so um, I'm really happy with how it turned out, and these should sharpen with any standard sharpener that has like a smaller sharpener side and a larger one. I just thought lip pencils would be kind of nice uh, since you can really shape that shape the lip with them and um, just kind of get it wherever you want it. So if you're using it for a cream eyeshadow you can just get it right on the lid or if you're using it for your lips you can get right in the cupid's bow and kind of shape it out. So I thought that would be nice and um, I can't afford lipstick molds yet. They're really expensive. They're like $200. And then in addition to buying all the ingredients and packaging, it, just, it would have been too much money at this point. So this is a nice kind of transition for me. So on to my actual eyeshadows from the Moulin Rouge collection, which is Spectacular Spectacular. Um, I have a video I can link in the down bar of a better vantage point of these shadows outside natural daylight so you can see all the glitter. But I hope I can kind of show you here so you can see. This is your song. Sad Diamonds up here, which is a beautiful bright yellow with purple holographic glitter and purple shimmer. And then I have what I have in my lids um, that is Entertain Us. And it is based on the Can Can Dancer. <laughs> today instead of doing um, my usual gifted hands video where I just kind of do swatches and show you guys um, what I've been working on I wanted to show them in action so I came up with this kind of not really simple but very colorful look for my Moulin Rouge inspired collection I'm using um, three eyeshadow shades from the line and I'm also featuring a new lip color I'm making for um, my lip line that's coming out um, very soon. It's a beautiful satin red orange color. Not shimmery, not frosty, just a really pretty sheen to it. It's a very gorgeous color and again it's inspired by her red orange fiery red hair. So it's called Strange Little Girl 
and that's going to be available in my um, lip line coming up soon, probably in the next month or so. We're going to start off by using um, a new product from my upcoming lip line. Um, these pencils are actually interchangeable. I don't recommend using them um, for the lips and the eye just for hygiene purposes, but if this color orange is too bright for you on the lips, um, you can use this as an eyeshadow base, kind of like the way you would with um, a cream eyeshadow. Um, it just enhances whatever colors you put on top of it. But I have another lip pencil that I'm using um, for my actual lips. I just put the product into this thinner lip pencil. But I am going to be selling them in these thicker jumbo pencils. And then you just pat that in with your finger. I already put some of my foiling medium in my lid of my eyeshadow, and that's just my foiled again mixing medium. It's vegetable glycerin and distilled water. So I'm just gonna tap that into the product and then put it on my eye. And I like to pat with mineral eyeshadows. I don't like to rub because if you rub, it kind of rubs off the pigment. So just pat it. And then we're going to get, we're going to paint the layer down underneath. And I've already tight lined, meaning I've lined my upper and lower water lines with a black eyeliner pencil. So I'm going to go back on top of that with some dry pigment because this will just hold any of the sparkle that I have and make it even more beautiful since it's slightly wet still. And that's a good trick for holding glitter. You can foil it first and then apply a little bit of dry pigment on top. And that really helps hold glitter and really intensify the eyeshadow. really like orange and orange is such a huge color for spring and summer so I thought I would kind of go crazy since this collection does inspire a lot of creativity and boldness. If you've seen the movie Moulin Rouge it's basically two hours of eye candy like glitter, sparkle, diamonds, um, corsets, costumes, makeup. I mean it's so it's like a rainbow basically exploded all over the movie set like it's just so much going on and I kind of love that about it some people don't like that but I honestly love it I think it's amazing so this collection I have to do more bold kind of looks with it just because that's that's what calls out to me when I look at these colors um, the next color I'm going to use in my contour and it is your song and it's based on um, the scene with the song title. They're on top of the pink elephant and they're dancing through the sky of Paris with a pink umbrella. So it is a royal blue color with pink shimmer in it and um, silver shimmer to represent the stars. So yeah, it's very, very pretty. Um, again, with this color, I recommend patting. I don't recommend rubbing um, because the glitter won't adhere very well if you rub it. So you just want to pat it through your contour in your outer V. And the nice thing about when blue and orange overlap, since they're complementary colors, they create kind of a pretty brown-gray color where they overlap, so that kind of helps with the transition a little bit. The chosen one, there's no time I think I'm going to take the blue up a little bit higher on this side as well, just so they're even. And we're doing kind of a cut crease, meaning we don't want our colors to be super blended. Yes, I think I'm going to take the blue up a little bit higher on this side as well, just so they're even. And we're doing kind of a cut crease, meaning we don't want our colors to be super blended. This whole movie has a very Indian theme to it, so think Bollywood with these colors. If you know what Bollywood is, it's such an explosion of color and Indian costume jewelry and costumes, and um, India is just known for color, so that's why I'm doing a more 
dramatic cut crease kind of a look for this collection. But you can see how beautiful that blue is. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it reminds me of the night sky. That's why um, I decided to pick it. Kind of like the night sky on like a moonlit night. Then I'm going to go in with Sad Diamonds, and that is my really bright yellow color with, it has purple holographic glitter in it and purple shimmer, and it's based on um, the principal dancer's costume in um, Hindi Sad Diamonds, which is at the very end of the movie. It is the Indian-inspired dance sequence that they perform. And it's based on the principal dancer's costume. She has black bangs and black hair. She's one of the main um, characters in the movie. She doesn't really have a name, but um, she's one of the main characters. So I wanted to do a color inspired by that. And of course, that seems one of my favorites. I love Indian culture and Bollywood, so how to do a color inspired by that. We're going to take that on top of that blue color and blend it almost into your highlight. see that there this is definitely not like your typical everyday look it's just something kind of fun and something dramatic something you could wear um, on like Halloween or um, if you're really daring you could wear it to the club or something like that um, I like looking at makeup as a way to express yourself though I like wearing what I like to wear and this is lucky black cat liner I'm working on the formula and perfecting it at the moment but I hope to have that available for sale within the next couple weeks. Um, it's just my very black vegan eyeliner. And you use an eyeliner brush with it, like the angled eyeliner brush from e.l.f. That's how you use cream eyeliners. And they're really good for doing um, winged eyeliner and cat, cat eyes. Keep this line semi-thick, not too thick, but not too thin. sure you line your upper and lower waterline with a black eyeliner pencil. I already did that um, and I did my eyebrows with the shade darker than I normally do just because this is a more dramatic look and I really want to frame my face. But this is Strange Little Girl and it is a bright red orange satin lipstick. We walked arm in arm but I didn't touch. And the cocoa butter kind of makes it a little more moisturizing, but it's still very pigmented. On the cheeks, I'm going to go in with a little bit of a bright spring color just to go with the look, and it is called Pantau, and it is a really bright matte orange color, um, like almost like sunset fiery orange to kind of go with the eyeshadow look we got going. Um, if you don't have this color, since it is limited edition, it's from Sleek. They're like um, a UK based makeup company. Just use like a peach blush. Just make sure that it's matte. Since we have so much going on in this look, you don't want a bunch of shimmer on your face. So we've got a bunch of glitter going on up in our eyeshadow. This will just kind of perk up our complexion a little bit. And I already applied some contour with my Terra Moisturizing Bronzer to give a little more definition to my face. I'm going to go in and set my black eyeliner with a little bit of black eyeshadow just because I have oily lids. And it's smart to do that. that is the finished look. I hope you guys had fun with this tutorial. I know I did. It's something really different and out of my comfort zone.